Hey everybody, Ms. Dietrich here. We're taking a look at question number one. Hector waters his lawn if it does not rain at least one and a half inches each week. It has already rained three-eighths inch this week. Which inequality represents the number of inches of rain R still needed so that Hector does not have to water his lawn this week? I think it's a really good idea to map this out on the number line. Now, if we map out, let's rethink everything as eights, because I think that'll make this problem a little bit easier. If we rethink this first as an improper fraction, that would be equal to 3 halves. And if we change it to eights, that would be equal to 12 eighths. So that would be this red little mark that I have here on our number line, because this is all broken up into eights. Now, this blue line represents how much rain we've had so far this week. That's this amount. Now, remember, as long as he gets this purple amount or more, then we're good to not have to water the lawn. But if we get a little bit less, like let's say the purple line, if I shrunk this back and the purple line was only this amount, then that would not be enough. There would be a little bit of a dryness there. We'd have to supplement a little bit more, right, with the watering. But as long as he gets all the way from, from this part all the way to that red hash mark, that would be okay. And if we get to um, past that, that's okay, because he needs at least that amount. So if it's more, then that would be okay. That's why I have this extended a little bit past the mark. Now, let's think about what kind, if we were to write an inequality, let's first write something without the symbol, and then we'll think about which symbol is most appropriate. So if this was just a regular equation, we would write that we have 3 eighths, and then we need to add to that some amount of rain, and then we don't know the symbol. Let's come back to that. And it would have to be equal to 12 eighths or more. All right, now if we were to solve this, we would say subtract 3 eighths from both sides of the equation. And this would cancel out. We'd bring down the R, and then we're still working on what the symbol is. But if we were to subtract these two values, 12 eighths minus 3 eighths would be 9 eighths. And if I rethink that as an improper fraction, I'm sorry, as a mixed number, if we do 9 divided by 8, we're going to get 1 and 1 eighth. Now here's what you have to ask yourself. So, by the way, that eliminates two of the choices right there. That eliminates this one and eliminates this one. So now we have to pick between the remaining choices here. So here's what you should ask yourself. Would the rain, this, we would read this as the rain, would have to be greater than or equal to 1 and 1 eighths? Or is it okay to have the rain being greater than 1 and 1 eighths? Because if it's not greater, if it's also equal, is that enough? That's what you have to ask yourself. So read it again because it's saying at least, we have to know what that word at least means, pick the symbol that goes with that word right there.